As I mentioned earlier, meeting individual needs is a sort of pivotal part of Ofsted sort of inspection and criteria at the moment. So we're just going to have a little look through this, which is uh, criteria 1.4 within Unit A. Um, the first thing I put on there is equal opportunities. We're just talking about equality and diversity. And this is the fact, you know, everyone um, on your course, on your program has the right to actually um, equal rights to actually the materials and an equal chance of success, if you like. Um, the term differentiation, now this was a big um, Ofsted term if you went back probably about 10 years when it first came in. Um, and this is having realising that you've actually got a range of ability and a range of different actual needs within the classroom. Often one of the more tricky elements with teaching is the fact that you've got some high-end ability students and maybe some real sort of lower end students, and you've got to try and actually push and challenge each of them. They call this sort of stretch and challenge, um, extension activities. So not only do you actually push maybe the students that are going for those A stars, but you give equal support and push just as much those maybe down um, at the lower grade. So it is a very important part of teaching and trying to meet you know, each of those individuals' needs. Um, the correct course or program I've put on here now, this probably comes back to that initial assessment, but making sure you, you know, you do thorough initial assessments and you get people on the right course and the right level for them. Um, it might well be, it does happen that people end up enrolled on a course and it's not suitable for them. So by getting to know them, developing rapport nice and early, you may well identify that maybe they'd be better off going down to a lower level in preparation before they come on to that course. Or also the case, you might find you've got a real able student and you think they might be able to jump up um, to the more advanced level, um, you know, and don't actually need to stay on the course they're on because they've already got the ability. Um, inclusion and identify required support we put on there. So inclusion is making sure everyone is actually involved um, in your lessons. This becomes more and more tricky the larger the class sizes, but it is a skill um, and it comes with practice, but trying to involve everyone, you know, all the different personalities, some are going to be good communicators, you know, introverts, extroverts within your classroom and trying to meet all of their needs within that. Um, and identifying required support, well, we've touched on it quite a bit already, but if you've got to, there's going to be times when issues come up, you have an awareness of the room, you get to know your students and when sort of possible um, extra support is required or you can identify that they're struggling within a topic that you actually do actually sort of you know help them and guide them um, and support them in this manner.